never been here before and I'm um, very excited I'm a big fan of Italian food it's like an airport in here it looks like an airport like yeah Grand like Central Station is oh, that that's not even an is? airport oh I don't even know what I'm saying I don't know but I can tell you right now I'm already impressed with the layout of this restaurant is it because they gave us water yes they gave us water <laughs> but the views are absolutely breathtaking so uh, let's go do this or are we already started? Oh yeah, we're already doing it. We're sitting. Like All we right. already, we, we've been seated. Thank you. Well, first thing that really grabbed my attention is that big window back there. And if you can look out the window, look at that view of characters in flight. Wow, that is something breathtaking to stare at, isn't it? What is it? Characters in flight. Oh. Well, that's not the name anymore. I know you were going to say that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, let's look through this menu a little bit and try to figure out what we're going to have to eat. Well, this isn't the dinner menu. This is just the lunch menu. But, like I mentioned before, annual pass holders are getting 40% off for lunch hours. And lunch ends at 3.30. Uh, they close the restaurant down between 4 and 5, and then dinner starts at 5. So they do have, like I said, mm, Italian food out the wazoo. Out the wazoo. Out the wazoo. <laughs> they have a uh, Pricks Fix, which basically is a combination already where you get to select an appetizer or a salad. Well, I guess a salad is an appetizer, but they is have it? Sicilian vegetable and bean soup, Caesar salad, and then you select one entree. And that has chicken parm, mussels, margarita, pepperoni. Mussels? Mussels, yes. The cow beef mussels? No, no. But I am very interested in the chicken parm. But at the same time, they also have some of these other meals like spaghetti and meatballs, chicken sausage ragu. And I think that's something Yip's going to like a lot. What's a ragu? Three cheese ravioli, Sicilian oven baked pasta, and then a couple other main courses like Maui Maui, eggplant parm, Mediterranean sea bass, steak pizzoli. Mediterranean sea bass? Yeah. The names here are so great. I love it. <laughs> um, they also do have some sandwiches, mozzarella caprese, meatball parm, prosciutto and salami. And overall, uh, I like the menu. This is my kind of food. Honestly. I love Italian foods. Now, the inside of the menu though. Drinks galore. <laughs> drinks galore. That 40% off discount does not apply to alcohol, so I don't know if we're going to be partaking in uh, any of this fine, fine... Here? Oh, <laughs> they've got this whole menu here. The one that's like signature to the restaurant? I don't know. Maybe we should ask and find out. Well, I think we've decided, and I think I'm going to go with the chicken parmesan and try this Sicilian vegetable and bean soup. And Yip's going to get the chicken sausage ragu. But I'm hoping they sell meatballs a la carte because something about Italian restaurants. Nate is a meatball connoisseur. Yes. I just need I need to taste it. I need to taste the meatball. So <laughs> <laughs> why not a chicken meatball parmesan? That's what I'm hoping to create here. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah. Yes. So we want to give you a little backstory on what Maria and Enzo is actually is. So Maria and Enzo is a couple. Maria is from 
Sicily. Yes. And Enzo was from another part of Italy, but he was a pilot. And Maria is a pastry chef. Yes. Maria ended up moving to Florida, and Enzo was flying into. Uh, Florida and they actually met and they supposedly he flew his plane into the water here at Disney Springs and this was his company right here so they basically fell in love opened up a restaurant so that's why it's a lot of mixture between pilots uh, you know aviation and Italian food aviation for Enzo and Sicilian food for Maria yes she wasn't a cook she was a Pastry. Yes. She says that she come from Italy. She was a kind of living in Maria. Yes. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. If you didn't know, we are actually Italian. Well, no, no, I'm not. I'm All right, Italian. I'm really not. Me is. I'm not. And uh, we also decided. I'm Polish. Are you Polish? Yes. Oh, 100%. I did know that. I didn't know that. So we also decided on getting a signature cocktail. Uh, we it's did called ask. Jet Fuel. Yeah, it's not called Jet Fuel. It <laughs> is called uh, Jet Plane. Jet Plane. It's so pretty much. I'm going to try to read off the ingredients of this drink and then we'll show it to you when it comes. Can I try to read off them? I think that would be better. Absolutely. The Jet Plane. Uh, Mar Armaro Montenegro. A parole, monkey shoulder squash, scotch, and lemon, and it is only fourteen dollars. And will Walt Disney World Tito? And your turn to try to pronounce it. I've given up. Amarello Montenegro, a parole, monkey shoulder scotch, and lemon. No, that, that's lemon. 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 Well, here is the soup right here. Oh, and my meatballs. Yes. Yes. So this is the vegetable bean soup. I'm excited to try this. Oh, spoon? and the spoon. Enjoy. Thank you, spoon Why man. Extra <laughs> um, On the side. On the side. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited to kind of try this. Ooh, it looks pretty good. But I'm more excited for them meatballs. I'm gonna wait for the meatballs because I actually want to eat those with my chicken. Oh, I'm dripping my bean soup in my meatballs. So let's give this a go. The soup is hot. Hot soup. I like it. How is it, honestly? I do like it. Yeah? Yeah, I like soup. I love soup. What's it taste like? You would not like it. Now I have to try it. What's in it? Oh, uh, vegetables. We don't like those. And beans. I don't like those. Let's see what you got there. <laughs> that is the exact reaction I thought would happen. Fun fact, Nate does not like cheese at all. Everything we get, he orders it cheeseless. Cheeseless. And I am a cheese connoisseur. Nate's a meat connoisseur. Yes. And I don't like meat, and Nate loves meat. We're like the perfect combination, meat and cheese. Yeah. Oh, oh little meatball, little meatball. Nate's going for the meatballs. I'm so excited for this. Let's see it. Oh, that's a bite. Wow. Wow. How is it? We're going to need more meatballs. Right? <laughs> it's imported from Italy, from the sweet part, from Puglia. Ooh. I was a little concerned that there was no bread service because the soup came out and the meatballs came out. So I was like, wait, no bread service? But then the breads did come out. And it looks so delicious, actually, doesn't it? Boom, boom, boom. And they, they give you a you... vegetable oil. No, nope, that's olive oil, but that was close. I don't know about you guys, but I always put pepper on my olive oil. Yes. And I cannot wait to try this. So funny thing, after I spritzled my pepper onto my <laughs> olive oil, 
he came over and added the finishing touches and look at how that turned out a little dab of balsamic and some seasoning this is gonna be good go ahead I want you to whirl it around in there oh my lord your turn to dab around or splash around. okay is it the sourdough no oh, very good Oh, okay the jet plane has come has Look landed it. it has landed oh <laughs> man I can't believe I missed that and you got it oh. so Yip's gonna take the first sip Look at that lemon. Lemon. Now remember, this isn't something you normally drink, so get your bitter beer face ready. I'm born ready. Wow. It's got a kick. Oh. Yeah? Okay. I'm excited to try this. That's a shock. And I'm leaving. On a jet plane. Uh huh. <laughs> Not good. No, it's good. Very strong. Wow. You saw that face. You guys judge. So far, before our entrees even got here, I can tell you right now between the bread, the soup, the jet plane, the olive oil, and the meatballs. The meatballs literally made me decide that I want to come back here. I love the meatballs. Unbelievable, look at those. It's like the perfect meatball almost. And the sauce is pretty delicious too. I think you guys know me by now. I am not going to be able to drink that. So I'm leaving this beauty up to Nate. Should I hold it like this? Mm -hmm. to make each day count. Yeah, yeah. To make each day count. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that so good. That so good. For my other drink, I have ordered the Diet Coke on the rocks and also water hold the rocks. Nate, the same. It's gotta go down, the food's here. The go, food's go. Here. I gotta finish it. Oh, thank you. College students, don't do this. This looks just like macaroni and cheese, so I'm pretty happy with mine. So here is my chicken parm. Don't judge me because it's not technically chicken parm, it's chicken and marinara sauce. But, like I said, I'm not a big fan of cheese. I don't like it that often, but two pieces, actually. And you got your penne on the bottom there. It looks very, very good. I'm very excited to try this. And Yip's Chicken Sausage Ragu. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Where's the chicken sausage, though? It's probably, like, inside of something. Oh. You forgot to eat the chicken sausage. Oh. Thank you. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. So I've taken my chicken off my ragu. That's its ragu bed. Wait, no, you don't have ragu. Oh, you have no, penne. Penne. Check out that chicken. How is it? Wow. That's really good. Really? Yeah. Very, very good. This isn't going to turn into the gumbalaya where you talk about it all the time and how bad you want to come back, right? It probably might. I thought so. When it comes to sauce, <laughs> I am a very particular type of person yes. with sauce. We will go through all the brands. Yeah. He still hasn't found one he likes. I do like sweet sauce a lot. This isn't so sweet. I mean, this is more robust. You hear me use those big fancy words? Mm -hmm. But I do like it. Uh, I mainly like the breading on the chicken. It's got a very light, crisp, uh, kind of, I would say... Professional, let's keep it professional. Yeah, yes. Crust. A, a crust. Mm -hmm. 
very flaky. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy it very much. Ah. Very ah. much. Oh. Ooh, shake that noodle. <laughs> <laughs> I am pretty aware that you guys are gonna probably mention Nate. How do you get a chicken parm without cheese? It is just what it is. I'm not a big fan of cheese, but ask yourself, what? what do I do with pizza? I tell you, so much food, I couldn't even eat it all. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> Well, we cleared the table, and the dessert menu is here. Look at this, cannoli, tiramisu, $12, cannoli, $9. And a lot of people from Italy like to have a cafe after their meal. It's a good way to digest, I guess. But we're gonna skip out on the dessert here because if you come to this restaurant, you know that it's basically one gigantic restaurant in this plaza between the Edison, Maria and Enzo, and Pizza Point, and also the Hideaway Bar. And if you look right here, this tiramisu is $12. If you go upstairs to Pizza Point, you get the same exact tiramisu for $3.50. But it's smaller. It's a smaller portion. And the same thing goes for the cannolis and basically all of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our desserts at Pizza Point. I just caught you mid-sip of that Diet Coke there, didn't I? So during dinner service, they do have an upgraded experience that they offer, and it's basically first class, like in a plane. And uh, it's a separate dining room with uh, fancier tablecloths. Uh, I think you get a, like a glass of wine served with it, and it's actually called the first class lounge. Pretty nifty, huh? So it's right through here, but right now they're having an employee meeting. So I don't want to go in there and show you, uh, you know, why they're having a meeting. Because this is the lunch hour, so the first class lounge is only open for dinner service. So, uh, I don't know. We'll give them their privacy. So now we're going to go up to Pizza Point, which is right this way. And we're going to get our desserts like we talked about, because it's the same dessert. Just smaller portions at like 75% less the cost. I just want to say, I never walk into restaurants and go, wow. But that place is pretty amazing, isn't it? It wasn't what I expected. Uh, Actually, no. I thought this was, um, what did I think, where did I think we were going? The place next door. The Edison, yeah. I thought this was the Edison. But I thought that's where we were going. Both places today. are pretty astounding. And there are the desserts. Just like I said, they have the same exact thing. In fact, the cannoli is only $7 up here. It's $9 down there. And I don't know how different the cannoli could be. I mean, it can't be a bigger size than that because that's just like Maybe the tradition. That's a traditional size of a cannoli. Holy cannoli. But they also have like crusta raspberry. That's only $3.95. Crustata peach, $3.95. Tiramisu. Oh yeah, tiramisu right there. That's $3.95. These are only 50 cents and Ooh. 75 cents. Yeah, we had these actually the other day. Yes, the Mazepin. 50 cents. Same thing with the hazelnut walnut ring and the Mazepin almond. I don't like oranges, but if I did, that looks amazing. Oh yeah, six bucks. So, what dessert do you think you're going to get? Probably that. It's, I like that way it looks. Ah, it's only six bucks. Looks fancy. Okay, you get that and I will get... Cake. You want me to get the, this one or this? Yeah. The chocolate cake? Yeah. I'm not even a big chocolate cake eater though. Alright, it's cappuccino. I'll go with the cake. I decided to get the baba. An orange liqueur soaked cake. Yip's gonna be upset because she doesn't like oranges, but I'm not a big chocolate fan. Before we get into the desserts, yep. Up, up. I want to talk about the bill. Oh, so sorry. this is from dinner. 
one thing that I noticed is those two meatballs cost 10 bucks. I'm not gonna complain though because we did get our annual pass discount. So like our total was $75. We ended up paying $53.89 and we got a lot of food for it. Well let's be honest, never would pay that. Yeah, much for I two never meatballs. paid $10 for you two meatballs. You get like 18 bags of meatballs. And this is our dessert. Like I said, most of these down there were like nine, 10, 11, 12 dollars. So we did a good deal on that. All right, I'm so excited to dive in here. I can't wait to see what you think of your a mushroom. baba. Your That's ma my baba. My baba. That looks so amazing, though. All right, baba. Baba first. It's amazing. Really? Oh my god. Would I like it? Oh my god, yeah. If I don't like oranges one bit. You'll love this, so. I don't want to say this word, but that is the moistest cake I've ever, ever had. Wow. It's so bad. And Veronica didn't like it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm just not into it. I loved it. Hey, I didn't like the bean soup, so. Oh yeah, Nate didn't like something. I'm not being yeah. negative, I'm being honest. And I don't like cheese. And I'm honest. How is it? Verdict. It's good. It's good? It's good. It's good. I like strawberries. Yes. All right, opinion time. I loved it. I thought it was great. I uh, really did. Uh, the only thing is the chicken parm, I wouldn't get again unless I got it on my own because I don't like the Caesar salad or the bean soup. But right. uh, this 40% off pass, uh, annual pass discount is All good to the All the way to the end of the year. End of the year. So if you're a pass holder and you want lunch, Definitely I would definitely say there. get out here and try it. Yep, it's definitely worth it at that price. It's worth it when there's deals going on like that. You can't beat it. It's, it's cool. You get to say you ate at a neat place. So, love the life you live. Live the life you love. See you next time. Toodaloo!